Hey, I'm Fred Eichler, and a lot of people ask, Fred, how do you make heart? They've seen pictures of me frying up heart, whether it was deer or caribou or elk. So what I have here is a fresh elk heart. It was cooled off in the cooler, so it's got a little thin skin around it. But I'll show you all I do is I slice up the heart. Then if it's been aged a couple days like this one has, I'll trim off the outer edge, and then I just roll it in an egg wash, then flour, you can season the flour if you want, and then right into some hot oil. So I'll show you how simple it is. I'm using an outdoor edge, this is my butcher blade, and I usually cut them about half an inch thick. So I just take the heart from the tip, and I start working all the way down. And you can make those as thick or as thin as you want. And go all the way down. Okay, I usually go all the way down to right here. Once I start getting into the fat and the really larger ventricles, I'll shut down right here. Or you can trim a little bit of this meat off on this side. But then what I'll do is I'll take and I'll trim off the outer layer. And that is a pretty incredible piece of hard steak. Now, if it's fresh, I don't trim off anything around the outer edge. I just slice it and put it in the pan. But now, let me show you how easy it is to make. Any kind of oil that you like, I usually put a quarter inch of oil in a pan. Then I take the heart, and all I have here is three eggs that I beat with a fork. So I just dip it in the egg wash, and then I just drop it in flour. Now, I use just plain flour, but some people will season that. You can put some salt or pepper or whatever else you like. And then I just lay it in that grease. All right, we're just going to keep going here. So for me, I cook it at a high heat. I think that helps sear or keep that egg and that flour on there so you get a little bit of that batter. And I cook it for only a few minutes until I start seeing some blood speckles come up on the heart. So we'll give this another minute and then I'll flip it over. So you can see when I start getting a little bit of blood spots where it's cooking through, then I'll go ahead and flip it over. I'll just give that two to three minutes on this side down, then I'll pull it off. I usually put it on a paper towel on a plate and I'll let some of that excess grease kind of come off on the paper towel. Then I'll pull the paper towel out and then I'll show you how delicious it looks and tastes when it's done. All right, so then I take those little marshals I take those delicious morsels and you can see what it looks like. Just a little bit of red in the middle here. That to me is one of the best pieces of meat. Now, don't get me wrong, backstrap, tenderloin, I love it all, but to start off with the heart for me is kind of a tradition, doesn't matter if it's whitetail, mule deer, elk, antelope, it's a really neat thing and it's another piece of the meat that you can enjoy of the animal you harvested. There you go, how to fry up a heart.